Welcome to the Intel Canonical Joint Demo. Video autoscaling for Intelligent SLA in 5G RAM based on MicroKubernetes. As the telco industry are embracing next-generation network supported by general-purpose hardware, further capability and efficiency of the open and virtualized run are being continuously explored and innovated. This demo showcases run network dynamically adjust resources to meet QoS of user traffic demand using VDU autoscaling technology and AI enhanced network slice RM algorithm. The demo is based on FlexRun and Twin system in Intel Beijing Lab. Stadium is a typical story served by scalable VDU deployment. When there's no event, 5G mainly serves low demanding requests, like general communication requests with limited bandwidth but guaranteed delay budget, or offline photo and video uploading and transferring with medium bandwidth request, or daily SMS and email with limited bandwidth, relax the delay budget and possible retransmission. When there is a mass event takes place, 5G serves many more demanding applications like VR, online video, online sharing, high quality live streaming with huge amount of bandwidth and guaranteed delay budget, or immediate reaction for robot, equipment operation and maintenance with aggressive delay and emergency request, and also generic downloading and uploading as usual demand. With dramatic demand change on the 5G resources in a stadium, the massive connection and a big increase of bandwidth request leads a huge pressure on uplink uploading. It can cause limited wireless connection and a bad quality of live streaming. Classic wireless technology, SUL, DC, CA, LAA, are supported in 3GPP to utilize adjacent frequency for cell capacity extension, solving the problem taken by the dedicated massive events. 5G video autoscaling, powered by Intel and Canonical, gives a simple way to automatically scale in and out video services on general purpose hardware without pre provisioning great amount of fixed network resources. FlexRun microservice governance continuously collect video telemetry metrics and SMO policy through O1 interface, and then timely handles the scaling operation with canonical microKubernetes without truck roll. This makes VDU more agile and scalable towards cloud run infrastructure. And network slicing plays a vital role in 5G network. In the run RM domain, radio resource allocation efficiency is key. Alongside auto scaling, this demo also integrates AI enhanced NSRM algorithm. With the aid of AI ML, NSRM intelligently adjusts radio resource allocation and works with Mac Scheduler to ensure efficient PRP allocation to specific slides and UE to meet their QoS demand dynamically. The demo is deployed in MicroKubernetes platform, executing on the Intel Xeon third generation processor with Ethernet controller E810 and accelerator card ACC100. SMO and new real-time rig running on native Kubernetes cluster, while the run network function running on another micro-Kubernetes cluster. The demo is based on microservice architecture on FlexRun and Twin system with traffic generator T-Rex, an Oran compliant commercial radio and UE simulator RUSIM. The DU function block is decomposed into DUUP and DUCP microservice. Comparing to traditional single monolithic architecture, microservice architecture enables flexible and dynamic orchestration on VDU. Here is the whole auto scaling demo flow. There are three network slices in the demo. Each slice holds two UEs. 
the three slices are differentiated by their scheduling priority based on SLA. The slice 1 has the highest scheduling priority. The slice 2 has the median priority. And the slice 3 gets background UEs, which are all non-GBR services. It has the lowest priority. The demo flow starts with the DUCP port startup. F1C is set up towards CU SIM. One DUUP port starts up to serve the UP of the VDU's first active cell. Then slice 1, slice 2, and background UE slice attaches to cell 1. In the meantime, download traffic keeps increasing. The UUP port starts reporting the cell PRB utilization matrix to the R app on non real time rig through O1 agent port. And it also starts reporting KPM data, including F1U throughput, PDCP rate, packet delay, and PRB usage to accept on near real time rig through E2 agent port. SMO monitors the cell PRB utilization through the O1 interface. When it finds cell 1 PRB utilization exceed predefined cell load threshold 80%, SMO makes decision to scale out another cell, cell 2. It sends the decision to autoscaler microservice in microKubernetes cluster. There are two autoscaling technologies provided by Kubernetes, HPA horizontal pod autoscaling and VPA vertical pod autoscaling. They have been widely used in IT field. To adopt the technology in VDU autoscaling, Flexron Microservice Governance Autoscaler customizes Kubernetes HPA solution and makes it monitor and react to the change of VDU matrix PRB rather than platform matrix CPU and memory. The autoscaler triggers the DUUP port scale out operation through HPA to enable the second DUUP port to hold the cell to UP. DUUP port then connects with the DUCP port and make the VDU configuration update. After cell 2 on air, to ensure the QoS of high priority slice UE, SMO triggers the traffic steering procedure to move the slice 1 traffic from cell 1 to cell 2. This ensures the QoS of slice 1 guaranteed on cell 2 with adequate radio resources. As time goes on from busy hour to idle hour, the traffic on both cell 1 and cell 2 are decreasing. SMO keeps monitoring cell 1 and cell 2 PRB utilization through O1 interface. When it finds cell 2 PRB utilization is below the predefined cell load threshold, 18% for some time, and cell 1 also have a resource to process those traffic load. It makes decision to deactivate cell 2 to save cost. Before cell 2 shutdown, SMO triggers the traffic steering procedure to move slice 1 traffic from cell 2 back to cell 1. After cell 2 UE is clear, SMO sends the policy to Flexron Microservice Governance Autoscaler and triggers the DUEP port scale in operation and shuts down cell 2. Live demo and data on Flexron Antwin system in Intel Beijing Lab are presented here. The performance gain from AI enhanced NSRM algorithm to dynamically allocate radio resource throughout the auto scaling operations are shown in the three monitor screens. Screen 1 monitors NSRM related matrix on near real time rig. It includes throughput and packet delay at the slice level. In the throughput diagram, it gives the real VDU throughput matrix received by near real time rig through E2 interface and the AI load prediction throughput matrix. Screen 2 monitors UE throughput on each slice from RU SIM site. Red and blue lines are the two UEs on slice 1 with highest scheduling priority. Screen 3 monitors the PRB usage at the cell level. 
AI enhanced NSRM procedure takes effect the whole time to ensure the QoS of network slicing UEs and optimized spectrum resource efficiency. When all UEs on three slices successfully attach to cell one, the AI enhanced F1 traffic rate prediction module on XAP starts predicting the F1U traffic volume for slice one and slice two. It generates the PRB reservation for both slices and sends the policy to the slice aware MAC scheduler on cell 1 DUEP port through E2 interface. Through intelligent F1U traffic prediction, dynamic and accurate PRB are reserved for each slice, and the packet delay required by the slice QoS are largely minimized, and the spectrum resource efficiency is increased. From screen 1, it shows that after the initial phase, the AI predicted throughput are closely tracing the real F1U throughput the whole time, no matter slice 1 traffic on cell 1 or moved to cell 2. As a result, the packet delay has been decreased and stabilized below 100 milliseconds. When traffic increases above threshold 80%, VDU autoscaling scales out VDU cell 2, and slice 1 traffic is moved from cell 1 to cell 2. Slice 2 UE and background UE remains on cell 1. On this cell, AI enhanced NSRM algorithm reallocates the freed up PRB resources to the slice 2 to meet their QoS. And on cell 2, the high concurrent load for slice 1 is processed here and the QoS of high-priority UEs are assured via dynamic network slicing traffic steering. When the cell 2 traffic load decreases below threshold 18%, another VDU autoscaling operation triggers to scale in VDU. Remaining slice 1 traffic is moved back to cell 1, and cell 2 is shut down. With the aid of FlexRAM VDU autoscaling and AI-enhanced NSRM, an agile, scalable, and cost-effective telco network rollout model are being achieved.